This is a uh, uh, Amtec Mark 10 uh, torque, you know, tester. Basically, it, basically, it's a tinsel tester. Uh, let me power it on. No, oh, that's gonna screw up my video here. No, no, maybe not. It's okay. All right, so powered on. So this is kind of an interesting piece here. So the, this piece, this digital controller here, this uh, Mark 10 Torque Management, where's the part from Ron Harris? Uh, digital controller. Anyways, so that controls this piece. It's this this piece right here. And when you see that, and that kind of manages it, and you can adjust the speed. And then here, let me let me roll it back out here. Looks like you need new O-rings. This looks kind of big. But this uh, adjusts the clamp, and then it's got a Jacobs chuck up here. So I imagine whatever you want to put in between those two work great. Um, and then you can also adjust this this piece. Switch hands. Obviously up and down. These are the stops. Now, I don't really understand uh, this model BGI uh, 3299170. So when I kick this thing on, so now when I push these buttons, it won't let me adjust it. So I'm thinking that you get it in place first, however you wanted your piece, and then you use this piece to do your torque mat, you know, your torque testing. And you know, that's, you can see that when I pull down on the Jacobs chuck here, it whoops, it's not locked on. Goes on. Um, you can change the units and the zero, whatever the else is. And it looks like there's a way to set it. I don't know. Overload module. Mark 10. Unit's about 36 inches high. Let me back up a little bit. You can kind of see the top of it there. Well, it's got a couple of little cords and stuff that come with it. Uh, cable. I'll take pictures of this stuff. And then it's got a USB to RS-232 to USB converter. Serial cord. Uh, it's got the measure gauge software. It looks like it's unopened. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let me make sure that it doesn't have a serial number on it. Yeah, let me just cover the serial number up. That. Here's that. And some instructions and some screws and some other stuff. But uh, that's the unit. Let me see if there's a tag on this, but I don't see one. It could be on the bottom. I'll take a look. Yeah, it takes on the bottom. So I'll get a picture of it, but you get the idea. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, I didn't do something, let me know. Otherwise, thank you.